Hiya. Today I'm just going to do a really simple, fresh bit of a zhuzh. Um, I'm going to use some more golden kind of bronze colours. And one of the things I've bought that I want to show you is um, these foundation drops. Now, if you've been shopping online and bought a foundation that's too light or too dark and you're a bit like, oh, you know, you can't get into store at the moment to test the shade. I ordered these from Boots this week. These are from Collection. Lots of brands do them, but I actually love Collection. I think they're one of the best brands. Formerly Collection 2000. You basically can get a lighter mixer or a darker mixer, and they're really densely pigmented drops. Now, I haven't actually used these particular ones. I feel like that might be loads, but you just mix it in to your foundation. I'm gonna go in with my um, CC cream. Now, as you can see, I'm quite fair today, so this should hopefully give me a nice mix. You mix them in, get the foundation to the desired color, and then hopefully that means that if you have unfortunately got the wrong shade, you're going to be able to just style it out until you finish it and top up and get another one. So let's see. Um, I'm going in with a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to take this all over. Well, do you know something? You learn something new every day. That's very nice. I think as well, you know, it's worth considering um, that it will potentially change the texture and the finish of your foundation because you put in essentially this little artistic mixer that is designed to change the colour rather than your foundation is designed to sit comfortably and look nice and all the rest of it. But you know what? While we're navigating these new waters... And we're trying to make the best decisions we can shopping online. It's nice to know there's something at Boots for a few pounds that can get you out of a tight corner. So I actually got this week um, a few little bits from Boots. So I'm just going to have a play over the next few videos. I got, um, there's these particular, uh, they're called Lee Stafford Hot Shots for Blondes. And it's a purple treatment to get all of the brassiness out of the blonde. But I tell you what, that is the strongest one I've tried. So I got some of those. I got a few, you know what I'm like, I'm loving all the TikToks. I got a few things that I'm seeing on other people's TikToks that I haven't tried. So I'll work my way through them. Hilariously, I used my usual shade of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the medium, with those drops. And that is actually a much color, much better colour match than I usually have. So there we go. Um, okay, yesterday I mentioned about, I haven't got a ring light on today, but if I show you up close, see kind of little pores and texture and things in my skin. And I mentioned how you can use your powder to just diffuse the appearance of that. And I had a few questions, so I thought I'm gonna show you again. I'm taking a small brush. This is a little eyeshadow brush. You can use any powder to do this. Preferably you wanna use a translucent powder. This one is translucent. But what I was explaining yesterday was, if you're looking at these little areas of texture, I, for example, I want to build the coverage on these areas that are red prone, but I also want to skim over, look at the difference between the two sides. I don't want to rub because I'm going to lift off what I've just built. So instead, I'm going to really gently press this into place. And I think that, you know, a majority of us, definitely me, um, you take a large brush for your powders and you just put a little bit all over and that's the end of that. But actually, taking a bit of time to really, I mean, look at the difference there, to just press that powder on rather than just sweep it with a large brush means that you can really make a difference to the appearance of any texture. Now, for me, I want to look at it in the mirror as well because... It's all very well looking great on this video, but I want it to look great in real life. So I'm always gonna check to the mirror that actually looks really lightweight. I'm now gonna take a large brush and just put the same powder very softly 
all over my complexion but give that a go and uh, you can use whatever powder you've already got at home don't feel like you've got to get something new um just try changing the technique and see if it makes a difference so i've gone quite matte today there we go right caroline a little while ago um maybe two weeks ago I had done an eye makeup and I used this Bobbi Brown shadow stick in taupe and it was a kind of pound coin gold or so I thought. So Caroline bought taupe and I think I've done a Google image search and both of the colours come up. I think mine must have been really old and it's this pound coin colour but the new Bobbi Brown taupe is this kind of uh, matte bronzy lovely shadow i have got the bobby brown sand june which looks very similar in color so i'm gonna go in with this because i know you got your taupe caroline and you got it home and you were thinking what has happened here so for today's look i actually did my makeup yesterday and i went really top heavy so i put eyeshadow just on the top and mascara just on the top and I had a long day and what I found was, by the way, I'm going to start buffing this out with a brush. What I found was that I felt like my makeup was really clean all day because if I ever looked a bit tired or felt a bit like, OK, halfway through the day, been running around this, that, the other, I just tidied up underneath and kept it really bright. So I think I might do something similar today. I've taken this shadow up to the line and then used a fluffy brush to buff it upwards. You could absolutely do this with your finger as well, but I'm just using a brush because I happen to have one here. And I'm gonna keep this really clean and precise the same way. What I'm also gonna do, as you can see, is one eye at a time. I think when we're on a quest to have a really symmetrical makeup, it's really easy to be like, right, I'm going to do a bit of this and a bit of that. I mean, there's nothing symmetrical about this. However, when you're working with creams, depending on which cream it is, sometimes it'll set on you. And if you've put both sides on, by the time you've finished amending one side, the other side has dried. Now, one of the reasons why I really like these Barbie shadow sticks is... I think they're really creamy when you're first putting them on, but then once they've dried, they're not going to go anywhere. So, brilliant for that. But in terms of applying them, you definitely want to do them one at a time. And I know that is the most simple wash. You know, nothing sparkly, nothing glittery, but I feel like it really just brings a bit of, um, you know, light and shade and makes everything sit well together. I'm going to let that sit for a moment, put a tiny bit of a brow on. I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Universal Taupe Brow Power. Um, I've got a new Lancome mascara that I'm going to have a little first play of today. And another thing I'm going to try, you know when you see other people using things and you think, oh, I've been meaning to give that a go. There is an Oskia, what's it called? The Nutri Bronze. Um, adaptive sheer tinted serum that is meant to be a tint that kind of adapts to everybody and a nice wash for the skin but a because I'm so fair and b because I've got so much redness I've never used it in that way but I'm gonna just give it a go as a bit of a liquid bronzer so gonna have a little play with that also there we go isn't it funny, in the time I'm on nine minutes in, the sun must have completely gone in because I feel like you can always tell because the picture goes a bit blurry. Like I bet you, if I tried to show you that powder now, it wouldn't have been clear enough. But what it has hurled to the surface is that I could definitely use a little bit of bronzer just to warm everything up. So, browser on. 
what I'm going to do with the bronzer is take exactly the same brush that I used for my complexion. As you can see, there's a lot of um, makeup on there. I might just put these in my palm and gently put them up a bit at a time. Now, for all I know, because as I say, everyone I've seen using this is kind of using it as a tint for all over, um, it may be quite sheer when I put it on, but we will see. Um, I'm not sure if you have used any skincare from Oskia before. They're a really lovely brand. I used to really love recommending them um, when I worked at Selfridges. You'd get people coming back and saying that they loved it. It was kind of the time when the... Um, what's their cleanser called? The Renaissance cleanser was super popular. Um, but the actual brand founder came in when they launched at Selfridges to give us a bit of training and tell us about the brand. And she was a really nice lady. Okay. A little bit of these drops. I think I've made a few marks there. I'm going to buff them out. It's funny, actually, considering how dark they looked on my hand, you can see how it is quite a soft wash. But do you know what, actually? Someone had asked me the other day for bronzing powder suggestions for fair skin and having given this a go this might be the one for you just given a nice little lift hasn't it okay there we go i'm going to keep that creamy i think to keep the luminosity everywhere and just finish off with a few little accents of um highlighter so i'm going to go in with a little pixie Makeup by Denise. I'm sure you will have seen over the years, but Pixie, Pixie are one of my absolute all-time favourite brands. Um, they do these collaborations with bloggers every so often and get people to collaborate on, say, their dream um, product. So this is one of the latest collabs. I was actually saying to a friend of mine the other day, I feel like, obviously, a lot of the skin solutions that I share are specifically for rosacea. But I'm going to get into the habit of, you know, mentioning all kinds of different skins because I never end up talking about Pixie. And if you don't have rosacea to contend with, I feel like rosacea has a whole different set of kind of needs and deliverables. So it's in its own little league. But if that's not you, Pixie skincare is second to none. You cannot go wrong with them. They have some really, really great things. Now, I'm just going to very gently retrace those brows because you can really see there in particular, I got that shimmer right the way in them. And I'm just going to keep it really simple, I think. Bit of mascara and a nice bright lip, especially because I've just dropped something all down my lap. Okay, we have the Lancome Lash Idol. I saw Cher actually the other day do a little video with this and it looked amazing. So let's have a look. It's a lovely little, um, the brush is kind of curved, if you can see. So it's hugging the, hugging the whole set of lashes. Lovely little soft finish. Our friend is back. Can't remember if I've been telling you about this cat. I feel like he must have just moved in or whatever has happened anyway. He absolutely loves coming to see us. And this week, um, It Cosmetics launched at Space NK. So we've had loads of things on. Live videos, training for the team, masterclasses, you name it. And honestly, I feel like at every single touch point of what I've been doing this week, that cat is crying at the window for me. He has been <laughs> everywhere I turn. He is really friendly though. So it's nice to have made a little friend. Um, I'm going to keep that fresh underneath and I'm literally just going to finish with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner to uh, neaten up the lips. Hopefully you got that. I've got some lip balm on. So I'm going to fill that 
obviously draw the lips on. This is me we're talking about. And pick that little hair off. Oh, I'll get that afterwards. Okay, super simple, fresh, ready for Zoom. Hope you enjoyed.